Hi everyone, my name is Maria and welcome back to Vixen's Victorious. Uh, today I'm going to give you the round for match report uh, on the Mama Vixen's versus uh, Fever, which is actually really exciting. So, um, yeah, there were moments at your Fever started off with the lead and then we sort of fought back and then we took the lead. There was definitely a lot of back and forth in the match and but at the end we kind of just put our foot down and ended up winning by nine goals which is really nice which means we are the only undefeated team in Sun Cup Super Netball so far and we get the number one uh, spot on the ladder which is great news. Um, especially from like being Wooden Spooners last year to now top on the table. Uh, there's still the rest of the season to play through, but definitely a big improvement. Uh, the Vixens' winning record record continues, defeating West Coast Fever by nine goals, uh, 57-66 to 66 at John Kane Arena in Kids Round. Uh, facing off against her former side, uh, Olivia Lewis injected into the game, but Dean Fowler threw, threw her paces with the goalkeeper, competing especially well in the air. Uh, Janine Fowler is really tall, um, she just gets to everything, like, sh she's amazing. Uh, Fowler and Sasha Glasgow are on fire, early racing out to three goal lead, um, and that's when it comes to panic against, like, you can't let it get to a big lead, because FIFA also has a strong team, and it's just like, it's not going to be easy to get it back. Uh, but the influence of Kira Austin, a 29 uh, from 35, uh, was hard to stop the goal attack, uh, backing up her round three performance with a handy three super shots to give her side a sixth goal lead at quarter time. And that's, it's really good to see that her confidence is back. I really, um, it, it's really good to see that her confidence has sort of um, come through last week to this week and Hopefully it continues for the rest of the season because I know what it's like to come back from an ASL injury and it takes a long time to get your confidence back but once your confidence comes back um, you, you tend to feel really good about yourself and we're seeing it here with Kira Austin and it's really good to see. The second term began with the same intensity as the fever worked uh, in overdrive to peg back the margin, Courtney Bruce and Stacey Francis Bayman picked up a wealth of loose, loose balls while Fowler dominated under the post to snatch the lead. Uh, the introduction of Ronnie Samson, love her, uh, in the circle changed the momentum with Samson slotting four goals straight to swing the lead back the Vixen's way, uh, heading into the main break. Which again is amazing. Like I said, we should, we should be able to just swap um, like the goal, center court, and defense, um, like more often than we do now. But yet again, I'm not so in McKenna, so. Uh, Marika Wenda, uh, 32 from 36, found her way back into the court in the third quarter, where Litz Watson, 25 goal assist, and Kate Maloney provided the ball uh, on a silver platter. The defensive pressure increased as Lewis showed her dare in the press of intercept while Emily Mannix created deflections as we pushed an eight goal lead which is any lead against Fever is always great um, as we know they've been like a strong team especially for the past few years they've definitely been up there uh, near the top of the table it's unfortunate that they didn't get in the grand final last season um, but I feel like they're definitely firing it was a blistering final term as we looked to put the foot down. Kate Eddy um, nullified the influence of Felity Simmons, while Rudy Ellis made her way into the game full of fever in an attempt to shut down Kawanda and Austin. The changes did not seem to face the shooting pair, uh, driving them home to secure four consecutive one. Four from four. Really happy to be saying that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just amazing. Um, it's it's kind of crazy to to think that we are 
We went from 2020 champions to wooden spooners and now we're fighting for top of the table. Um, you know, it's sort of, I don't know, it's, it's definitely like, it's really nice for sure. But at the same time, it's just like, wow. Um, so I did say that uh, with votes, I was gonna do, um, I was gonna do my votes for the last few rounds and um, make a table, but my computer did something very annoying and deleted it. So I'm gonna have to watch last week's video to see who I gave votes to. Whereas I'm just gonna give votes out. So I think uh, one vote. So I'd like to give my one vote to Kate Eddy. She definitely does a lot of amazing things. Two votes I want to give to um, Kamwanda. Just because she's been accurate, you know, they're consistently accurate and that's we love a consistent player, let's be honest. Consistency is great. Um and three I'm gonna have to give to Maloney. It's it's hard to give votes because like a lot of people like are better than one vote but don't get the two votes, if you know what I mean. And like some people deserve more than two votes, uh, but don't quite get the three, three vote spot. So it's, it's like, you know, it's a bit hard since like everyone's performing well, so it's really hard to give votes, but I'm learning with three, Commander with two, Eddie with one. Um, it was such a great team effort, not gonna lie, everyone played super well. It's just really hard to allocate uh, votes when the whole team is playing well. Um, but yeah, those are my votes. Um, we are playing um, Sunshine Coast um, at Saturday at USC uh, Stadium, so I will put out the preview for that. Hopefully on Friday. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully Friday, uh, latest uh, Saturday morning. Uh, but I'll see how we go. But yeah, that is it for me this week. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below some of your thoughts on the game. I thought it was definitely uh, a little bit of a roller coaster. I would like to say that. Um, and the commentator said this, that Fever did look a little bit fatigued. I feel like, I feel like it definitely wasn't the, one of the strongest game as a team because some players did come back from uh, health and safety protocols after COVID and they were talking about how, the commentators were talking about how when they had COVID they felt tired even after they recovered. And I'm assuming that's the same for the players. Uh, because a lot of people have said that after they recovered they were tired and it's, it has to be tough on these athletes to recover from COVID and then get back into playing when you haven't even trained for that time you're sick. So, um, like Vixens, we're lucky in a way that COVID hasn't hit us yet this season. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I feel like it probably would have been a different game if their team was fully healthy. But um, but I'm still really happy that we're still just undefeated throughout the season. Um, but yeah, that is it for me for today. Uh, like I said before. Please comment down below uh, some of your thoughts on the match. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Please hit the bell notification and subscribe. And I'll see you um, hopefully uploading the preview Friday, maybe Saturday. Bye.